Hi, welcome to CTE Month, and who am I with? It's Mr. Tucky. Mr. Ruth. I miss Jenny. I'm Mrs. Jillian. Mr. Geiger. I am Mr. Bolzman. Miss B. Kim Popic. Jessica Vajinsky. My name is Mr. Miles. Ryan Swart. Mrs. Amber Blackstock. Mike Meisner, instructor. Steve Risky, Parapro. Mr. Turner. All right, and what program do you teach and tell us about it? This is auto technology, and I stress the fact that it's auto technology. A lot of people look at it and they say, it's auto mechanics. Well, auto mechanics is a big part of what we do, but we're here to teach kids about cars and how cars work. I teach computer-aided drafting where students can learn to design mechanical parts or architectural um, buildings for residential and commercial. This is the Careers and Education program. We have a laboratory preschool here where we um, have children three days a week. Um, we have seniors and juniors. Our second year students that are seniors go out on work experience. Um, they get to work out in the field for four days a week and our juniors stay back and work in the lab with us. I teach construction building trades and in here our students get to learn the basics of construction and then take their skills outside and work on our house project. We build a house every year, teach the kids a little bit of the ins and outs in the construction world. They get to do a little bit of everything with building a whole house. It's a 1500 hour program that is outlined by the state of Michigan and at the completion of our program you get licensure. Um, there's also special certifications that you can gain along the way. Um, we study hair, skin, nails, makeup, anatomy, hair removal, hair texture, hair coloring, hair cutting, um, physiology and anatomy. Did I say that already? You did not. Okay. Yep. Uh, a lot of chemistry, electricity, and much, much more. I'm the second year instructor. I'm over here in the salon with them, helping them set up. I teach health science and we are actually a two-year program. Ms. Champagne teaches the first year, um, the 11th graders and first year seniors, and I teach the, the 12th graders. Standing in my lab here at the uh, tech center, um, we have about 6,000 square feet that we use to replicate real world situations as far as replicating a restaurant and uh, different styles of cooking here in the kitchen. My program, like all the programs here at the Tech Center, is to get the students career ready, uh, career exploration. And we go over, uh, it's good for police, fire, EMS, uh, kids who want to go into the military, lawyers. Those would be the kids I'd say you should uh, go check out my program, those that are interested in that. Uh, we go over uh, traffic stops, felony stops, use, use of force, deadly force, self-defense. Uh, currently, we just finished up crime scene investigations. We're learning about narcotics now, uh, drunk driving. Um, really anything in the police, fire, EMS field. Students take my class to learn about business careers and we run the school store and then we do a lot of different projects in class. Some second year students are eligible for on-the-job training and we also offer direct and articulation credits for college. <clears throat> Basically we do everything from a mechanical spec perspective that automotive doesn't do. So we do small engines, power equipment, and diesel, so everything but automotive. And then we do pretty much all aspects of welding and metal fabrication. I teach the visual communications program here at the Tech Center. We call it VizCom for short, and we cover three main things in here, video, photography, and web design. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Our goal is to, to uh, have our students leave here with job-ready certifications, and that's, that's a mechanics license. So if, you're, if you have a mechanics license, then you're a real mechanic. And they can earn up to six college credits right now. Um, next year we're looking to add another six college credits so they'd have a total of 12. They can earn a FANUC certification and um, we're also looking at adding a 3D Stratasys uh, industry certification also. We have preschool three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and our students, before they are able to work in the preschool, um, they are certified in CPR, first aid, and the use of an AED. Our students can get a 60-hour pre-licensure to go get their Michigan builder's license. They can get a CDL certification and also an OSHA 10-hour certification in construction class. It's a good program. The kids have a lot of opportunities for other things. We do a cement class with Alpina and they can do their CDL and there's lots of opportunities here at the Tech Center. It's fun. I always say if you try something, you know the first time it might not be the easiest. Don't get discouraged. Um, sometimes you come back to it and you love it even better. So just give it all you got. Um, have fun with it and just be open to learning. The certifications, uh, they can get eyelash extensions, hair extensions, Barbicide, Leukocide, 
OSHA. So we offer many certifications from uh, certified nurse aide to pharmacy technician, physical therapy aide, personal fitness and nutrition, and dental assistant. Do a lot of hands-on activities here. Um, between the two years of uh, programming, the students are able to um, earn between six and seven different industry certifications. Everything from uh, barista to serve safe and culinary arts and baking and stuff. We, uh, we have various certifications here. Uh, my students are able to come out as uh, full-time firefighters, uh, EMT, certified EMT, um, certified in scuba diving, uh, basic open water scuba diving, uh, CPR, stop the bleed. We have uh, college articulation credits at Delta College, Ferris uh, Lake State, Baker, St. Clair County Community College, uh, just to name a few. Uh, so just by completing my program, um, you can get up to six credits that'll transfer with you um, as articulation credit. Great, well-rounded program and my students have a lot of fun with all of the different things they get to do. I love building relationships with them and watching all of the different exciting things that they grow and do in their future. Thank you. One thing I would like to see students get is a 609 certification which is AC repair and replenish. So the advanced cert that students can take in my class is the drone pilot certification and that is through the FAA and so that is something that we do offer in this class.